Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Baltimore Orioles and the Toronto Blue Jays. John Shabby and Chris Singleton with you. And a couple of division rivals going head-to-head -to -head today, Siggy. I think when these two teams match up, that regardless, you're looking to bury that other club because of what they've done to you over the course of the season. You figure, hey, it's my time to return the favor. So almost ready to get underway. Today's starting pitcher, you say Kikuchi. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform we well are, at I their home ballpark, in front of their the fans, football. in front of the Boy, city. Hey, hey, hey. And you know this guy, no hey, different. Hey, hey. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. First win, 7 -0 -7. You won. Oh, one. one ball, one strike. Now a screamer into the outfield. Kershaw calls it in for the out. One up, one down. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Gunnar Henderson. And Boog, he's their team leader in home runs, so you know the pitchers on that other side, man. They took a lot of time preparing for him in that pregame meeting. You know, he's got a lot of pop, and it's real pop. It's not fluky at all. He can absolutely change the outlook of a game very quickly. So watch out when he steps in. Austin Hayes, batting with one down, takes a strike. And there's a ball. One and one. One out, base is empty. Oh. And another ball. The pitch. That Three one ball. misses. One Three and one now. And he walked oh. him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Anthony Santander at the plate. Fought off foul. Kikuchi, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a curve, and he works in a changeup. And a pitch. And that's no, off the, the inside edge. One and one. Hayes at first, one gone. Ooh. Top of the zone for a called strike. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. The one two. Next oh, offering misses down and away. the third baseman Gunnar Henderson good power not great in the OBP department and first offering is fouled off two outs found back our way and that's out of play Kicks and fires. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And the pitch is outside, ball one. And they'll do it again. And a pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. 
two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Oh. Little chase that time. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Hey. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. One left for the Orioles. Now the Blue Jays will get their chance. No score. Back after this on the show. And we're back. And towing the slab in this one, John Means. Yeah, I want to see how he handles left-handed hitters in this lineup today because coming in, lefties are batting over 300 on the year against him. So he's going to have to figure something out to get inside, keep them from getting their arms extended, and then once conscious of the inside pitch, be able to go with something away and finish them off. Geraldo Perdomo in the box now as he leaves that one up high. pitch the shortstop takes the ball two oh in the air right field Santander drifts towards it makes the grab one down Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. It features a great veteran presence, George Springer. Boom, this is one of those guys you want at the plate in those big game-defining moments. I mean, he's such a consistent hitter. You've got to love watching him in those situations. And hopefully we'll get a chance to see that in this one. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive no, side that I think the speed factors in the most. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. Well, he gets to ball. balls One that strike. get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have. Oh, ah. this pitch rides in too far. That got him. Well, definitely a breakdown in his mechanics on that one. He just lost the handle and ended up way off target. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Checks over to first, back safely. Runner takes off. And a foul ball. And he deals. Runner on the go again. Next offering is foul back. Man at first, one away. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. Mountcastle tracks it down for the out. Batting four. The white field. Go! And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. He might want to steal second in this spot, but he's dealing with a catcher that has one of the best pop times in the game. He needs to pick his spot very wisely. One and oh. Pitch out, but no action. Here comes a pitch. And a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Popped up. Gets under it. Makes the catch in and over. One left for Toronto. Scoreless after one.
New inning getting started. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Kikuchi back to work. One ball. Pitch okay. misses there. Ball one. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. Right. Fastball Ooh. in for a strike. One and, one. and the count one and one. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. Oh. And I think if push came to shove Two where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Ripped on the ground a second. Fires over to Guerrero. One up, one down. And into the box for Baltimore, Jordan Westberg. He's going to finish with a new career high in stolen bases, Chris. Gets the call. Going Come on. One strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Oh, two. Tie a guy up like that. You're feeling like you are in command. That's Cuts three. and misses. It's a strikeout. You know, that high four seam fastball has become such a staple as a strikeout pitch over the years. And what's so tough as a hitter is that you see it extremely well. The problem is the velocity at spin rate just happens to jump by you. You expand your zone, you don't stay tall on the backside, and you're really not even able to make contact. If you do, many times it's a pop up. And that one in the air center field makes the grab, and that's the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back now in Toronto. Here's the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. Line of the pitch. Foul ball there. A strike. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitchers on fire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, boo. If you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. That That's misses the, the zone. Ball one. Ball. What about some no nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player. And even. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Oh, it's a hit up. They must be going crazy in the dugout. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1 nothing. His plan was to hit the ball hard, and he was going to figure out the rest later. You can't argue with those results. Some other pitches in this at bat was very patient. Paid off. Here's Turner now. Pitches oh. in the dirt, and that is ball one. And downstairs means. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. And that one is lifted in the air. 
Santander makes the grab one away. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? Well, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. One run across in the frame so far. Bottom half of inning number two. And now it's even up. One ball, one strike. One down, base is empty. Pitch in the dirt, and the count is two and two. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Well, he's having a tough time getting the pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. That one lifted to left. And there are two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front that shoulder is. coming the open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Santiago Espino in the box now. No balls and a strike. That clips a corner. Got him. And the inning is over. Jays open it up with a solo homer. It's now 1-0. You're dialed into the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins. The wind of the pitch. In the air, left field. And out number one on the grab. Here's Adley Rutschman. Adley Rutschman, multi-time All-Star, getting ninth in today's lineup. A former first-round pick back in 2019. Oh, and one. takes low for ball one. All right, right Boog. So I was scrolling through social media the other day, and a video of Adley popped up. It was a clip of him playing. Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back to the top of the lineup. Jorge Mateo now. He's 0 for 1. That's in there. It's 0 and 1. Tough spot right here. Quick inning, two quick outs. You got to be patient, but you also have to be somewhat aggressive to not miss your pitch early in the count. Two down, nobody on. There's a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters. Got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. To the right side, Espinal throws the first, and that is the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles, and it remains 1-0. Back here at Rogers Center, go. bottom Look of the over inning. Over and now the catcher the comes catcher. up to him. Alejandro oh, Kirk. The lefty fires. That one fouled off. And now the lefty. That one's in there. And the count is 0-2. Side gets out of the way. The 
punch out there. One away. Well, I can't argue with that one. And clearly he was looking for something else. No anything but the breaking ball. It's a great pitch to hit right there if you're looking for it. And kind of a gift in a two-strike count. But sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Puts it away for the out. Now center field. Here's Kiermaier now. He was plucked in his first trip to the plate. Foul ball. Two out, space is empty. That one pushed foul. Two outs. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And here it comes. That one ripped. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. And that's a two-out double. He was all over that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So two down. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. next up for the Blue Jays. 0 for 1 as he popped out foul to first. That one finds the zone, and it's 0 and 1. Runner at second, two down here in the last half of the third. And that one missing low. And it's second. Got him. And that'll do it. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to inning number four. It's the Blue Jays one and the Orioles nothing. Start of the fourth, and now it's Austin Hayes. The left field. Austin Hayes. Kikuchi back to work. In the air of the infield. In position. And it's caught for the out. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Anthony. So taking in Anthony Santander. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that's in there for strike one. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. The Orioles yet to pick up a hit here. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Now at the plate, Gunnar Henderson struck out swinging his first time. This one in the air. Settles underneath it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Blue Jays one, and the Orioles nothing. 
bottom four. Now the Toronto four-run hitter, George Springer. Springer plays an important role for this team in the clubhouse, Boog. I mean, he can hit home runs, which is great, but he also brings a lot to the club away from the field, too. That one finds the corner. One. Well, these Jays showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. And he'll two. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. That's inside. Now one and two. One ball. Well, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And another ball. Two and two. In the air, out to center, and it drops in. So, a runner aboard to start the inning. And now it's Dalton Barsho. He's already homered in this game. Runner on the go. Into center. Mullins in pursuit. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Turner climbs in on that right side. Snap throw to first. And Springer's in there safely. Bounce to the left side. Gets to it with a slide. Quickly to second for one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We've played four. It's the Blue Jays one and the Orioles nothing. Back now in Toronto, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Ryan Mountcastle. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. You know, these Orioles, they're not going to be happy with the at-bats they've been having so far. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Oh, and two now. On the ground. Whips it to first on the run. Here and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Jordan Westberg getting ready to hit. Went down on strikes his first time through. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. In the air, right field. Springer there makes the catch. Two down. Up next the designated hitter. And next is the designated hitter, Heston Kerstad. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And that's too high. Chase that time. 
The Orioles down by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. That's inside. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Next offering is fouled back. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Two down, nobody on. Got him swinging. Nothing doing this time around for the O's. They're down, one nothing. And we're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the DH, number 36. The pitch. Wow, nice play. To first, nicely done for the out. A quick move to his left, fully extended there in front of the shortstop to make the grab. Up with it, then a strong, accurate throw across the diamond to complete this highlight play. Santiago Espinal next up for the Blue Jays. And first offering is fouled off. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. The 0-2. And that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in. Safe at second. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he made it out front for the line drive knock. for Toronto. Alejandro Kirk struck out looking at his first at bat. Right through there for a strike. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. The pitch. Ball one low. One out and a runner at second. Last half of inning number five. On the ground to the left. Slides for the stop. Throw to first. And very nicely done for the out. Now Turns over. Geraldo Perdomo next up for the Blue Jays. And look out. That one gets it. The second man he's plunked in this one. You know, Boo, you always say how important it is to have a good feel for the game. As I say after the game, you step on the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. In the box here, lets that one go for a ball. Two on, two outs. On the ground, right side. And foul ball. And this is inside. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Two outs. 
Vladimir Guerrero Jr. waits on deck. And the 3 1. And that'll oh, load the bases. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much now, gifted in first, first base with a quick free pass. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. And that one clips the corner. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Fouled off. He was late. Two outs. Bases are full. One Next pitch is outside. Dangerous hitter at the plate. On the ground to third. They take the force out, out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. So the Blue Jays strand three, but they're on top, one nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins. As the lefty gets to work. That's a strike going along. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. But why to kick the pitch? That one a little bit high, and the count is one and one. Pitch. Ball. Hot. One to ten, but that goes foul. to the at-bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. If you want to be ready to hit the fastball, sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And now, Adley Rutschman, a switch hitter batting right. On the ground, and that's through! Their first hit of the ball game, and that turns the lineup over. The bat, number three. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup. Jorge Mateo, the next to hit for the Orioles. Lifted in the air right center field. Drops into the glove. Now left Austin Hayes. Now the number two hitter, Austin Hayes. Try to keep that hitting streak alive. Ten game hitting streak for the young man. To third, Turner. They get the Got force. It. Third out, and that ends the frame. So another inning in the books, and the no hitter is no longer part of the story. It's the Blue Jays one, and the Orioles nothing. of the sixth inning and now for the Jays George Springer well, Boog, Springer always grades well with his bat he's been incredibly consistent at the plate in his career and a pitch and that's in there at the knees first sign of movement in the Orioles bullpen Ryan Baker is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde Cologne warming up as well To the right side, Westberg. The throw to first, 
One away, bottom of the six. Now Pretty good job it. on the mound with this you. one, Siggy. Go it feels play. like we've seen a lot of off-balance oh, swings. Yeah, just one free pass, and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact and he gets out. Now the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. He's produced the only run of the game with his solo shot earlier. Yeah, the pitching's been outstanding in this one, so that home run has really been the only big sign of life from either offense. Right through there for a strike. Varsho, 27 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. That's in there. Oh, and two down. One down, base is empty. That That's one misses, one. and the count one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Base is empty, one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. He's hit. So he gets a hit after a long battle with the pitcher. Man, that was a pretty good battle to play. I'll tell you, it feels pretty good as a hitter and you grind out a hit like that. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So now Turner in on okay. that right side. Varsho leads off first with one away. Ground ball right side could be two. There's one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We're through six full. It's the Blue Jays one and the Orioles nothing. We go to the top of the seventh. Now, Anthony Santander. Kikuchi back to work. Oh. Hitting is all about anticipation, and right now this lineup is struggling with it. Their swings are mistimed, and it's produced a few ugly cuts here and there. No. And now the count One is ball. even. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Eric Swanson appears to be getting loose. Green also getting ready. Looking to get the tying run on base. Gets him to chase after that one. Ball. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Out towards right center field. Espinal on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. What a way. Gunnar Henderson, the next to hit for the Orioles. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. So guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Holding on to a one-run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. And ball. another ball. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. And a 2-1 on the way. That one missed. Well, that right there could end up being a big walk in this game. He's certainly a threat on the bases, especially with them looking to tie this thing up. Runner on at first with one gone. 
Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. That one, one misses. That's five straight. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best. Here goes the runner. Strike in there. Oh, and they got it. That goes to show you stealing the base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Extends the inning. Now that second base. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Gould. So I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. Two outs, runner on first. And next for the Orioles, Jordan Westberg. That one's in there. It's 0-1. Well, with the tie-in run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on, drive it into a gap, and score that run from first base. Two outs. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. And that is that. And the Orioles leave one. They still trail 1-0. Back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Ryan Baker. Ryan. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And now to the plate, here's the Toronto DH. The designated hitter. Snyder. And the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a bouncer. Henderson gets it to first yep, and out. one away in the bottom of the seventh. The batter, number five, second baseman, Santiago. And now it's going to be Santiago Espinal, one for two. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Wouldn't chase that time. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. One finds the zone, and the count is even two and two. Three and that's in the dirt. On the ground to third. Sends it across to first. Two up, two down. Down, down. Catch it. Here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. That's in there. Strike one. That's down and in. One ball, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in game one of this three-game set.
variety to the play. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And down on strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. They lead it 1-0. Let the And welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the eighth. And now the DH, Heston Kerstad. And he deals. And a big swing and a miss. Go Toronto's ball. bullpen one, with some action. Jordan Romano, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. This is off the inside. And now it's even one and one. Kikuchi into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're yeah. going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. in the box now take strike one he's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound consistently throwing at the knees pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this next pitch misses and the count even one and one trying to hold a one run lead and we're in the top of the eighth and that's outside and a count two and one pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there started on the edge of the plate with the spin you know it's going to finish well off the plate left hand batter waits base hit center field and that puts the tying run on base well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. And he takes one right on the black. That's strike one. Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone, and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over seven. Runner on the goal. And that one fouled off. Mullins leads off first with one away. And now one and two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And there's a ball. Going to lay off that pitch down. At the belt and fires. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. Kicks and fires. Still two and two after the foul ball. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Oh. Just misses without one. Okay. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Now snap throw to first. And he's back in safely. I think you want to get a one-way lead. Be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some 
length on the secondary lead and perhaps score a ball in the gap. The kick, the 3 2. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Payoff pitch. Runner goes again. And ball four to a board. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found a way to score yet, but now's their chance to change that. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. You say Kikuchi won't go any further, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Eric Swanson. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Jorge Mateo, the next to hit for the Orioles. So RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. And there's a strike. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And strike two. One out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Popped up, foul territory behind the play. And there's two down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. So next to hit for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. And that one fouled off. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go ahead runs no. are aboard. Just missed. One ball. You want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. to again gets a piece and stays alive off the mark there two and two man oh man I don't know how you take that pitch that's as close as it gets foul ball another two two upcoming Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. And that's outside, and it's three and two. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if you can find some open grass in the outfield. So the tying run at second. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. The Orioles strand a couple. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Dylan Tate. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Cut back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. And now, Geraldo Perdomo. The wind of the pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. One ball, no strike. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Right-handed reliever. And another ball. Two 
two. Got him looking. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following yeah, suit. It's just a good Let's day as a manager or as a pitching yeah, coach when you can hand the ball off to multiple arms and get stability from all of their performances. The batter now, Kevin Kiermeyer. First offering, and it just misses. Ground ball right side. The flip to the pitcher covering. Two up, two down. Now bad at first base. And here's the first baseman, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. No, Just missed. Movement in the bullpen. CNL Perez. The southpaw is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss, strike one. One and one. Two outs. And yeah, that one off the outside edge. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Hard hit, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays, but they lead it one to nothing. out of play just missed if he's able to connect on that look out and the pitch this one driven deep way back there and it's gone we are tied a gigantic blast is 21st of the year, and we have a tie ball game. It's 1-1. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. is power right there like two locomotives colliding who's going to win but a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working powers that fastball out of here and next will be the cleanup hitter gunner henderson that one is absolutely belted that's back there and that one is gone he sends it out of here. It's 2-1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. Back 
Back to back homers always a special feeling at the ballpark especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. And now the first baseman Ryan Mountcastle one for three. Not even close there. And that's ball one Romano in his sixth season. He features a slider a four seamer and he works in a two seamer. Next offering is in for a strike. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Jimmy Garcia getting ready to go. Richards getting loose as well. The 1-1. One -one. And there's a foul ball. season as you see with a big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. So up next, Jordan Westberg. 0 for 3. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Liner caught it second. Man, that could have been a big swing in this game. Just unlucky at a really unfortunate time right there. Now here's the Orioles DH. Heston Kerstad. That immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Pitches outside. And yeah, that's outside. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Jack Swain went around. It's two and two. To short. Over to first. And that is that. The two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. And this is now a 2 1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're back. And on the mound is the closer, Yen Yir Kano. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Well, one run game. And now the Toronto cleanup hitter, George Springer. Here comes a pitch. And that's outside. And it's one and oh. Slider misses outside. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. One run game, bottom nine. And fouled off. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Out to short. Mateo slings it across. That takes care of Springer. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. He's two outs away. Here's the left fielder, Dalton Varsha. He's already homered here in this one. And that one clips the corner. A one-run lead. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. 
in there at the knees. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. Now he's out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more. His timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. One out left for the Blue Jays. So up next for Toronto, Justin Turner. That one finds the zone. And that's strike one. Designated hitter. And that is in for a strike. Oh, on. Big situation right here. You got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run. Question is, do you send him and get him in the scoring position, or do you let that batter swing and maybe put you ahead? We tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, dude. Trying to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. Move to first, and he's back safely. You know, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off, it's over. Got him! And that is the ball game. For all game, this team had to battle with that 10th man, those fans making a lot of noise, but they took the lead in the ninth inning, quieting things down. We were able to get those final three outs in the bottom half as well. Just a very well-executed ball game. And your final score here today, 2-1, as the Orioles win this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chompy saying so long. Now you clap my heart for the evening. Kiss my cheek, move this, you confuse things. Should I just sit out or come on? Help me find my way. Now you put my heart for the evening. Kiss my cheek, move this, you confuse things. Should I just sit out or come on? Help me find my way. Telling me about next man. But next man ain't with the plans. Who got your heart in mind? It's about time that you just on wine And let it just happen, make it front free uh. Just sweat me like money panty uh. Digging you, getting inside of your steam what? It's the quest can Our, Our final line score tonight, tonight. First, First for the victorious, victorious Orioles Two runs, two runs on, on five hits No errors, they left